How conscious are you? Good day to you, our dear ones, our light workers, way showers on planet Earth in this December of 2021. Once again, we are very pleased to connect with you. You are blessed beings indeed, for you are on a divine journey, a hero's journey. You have ensconced your holy soul into your human body in this schoolroom, earthly sphere, in order to expand consciousness. Here on earth, consciousness is your level of awareness of yourself and the world around you. In the spirit realm, consciousness is total awareness of all that is. In your true spiritual reality, as a spark of God, in the ocean of God consciousness, you are aware of all that there is to be aware of. You are a part of the vast ocean of divinity, and as such, all that divinity knows, you know. And all that is has the potential to increase consciousness to an infinite degree. Yet how to increase it? For God, the totality of consciousness, is constantly seeking to expand. We are always saying that you, who came to earth, are very brave souls indeed. For you came from the sphere of heavenly love, where union and unity, communion and camaraderie, joy, peace and wisdom rule each and every now moment of all eternity. In the material realm, there are many different consciousnesses. Consciousness, frequency and awareness can be considered equivalent to each other. The lower the frequency band of the dimension that physical creatures inhabit, the less awareness they have of what is truly happening around them. Earth has the lowest of the low frequencies that physical beings can inhabit. Earth was created for suffering. Earth was created for souls, ensconced in human hearts, to know what was not in their heavenly reality, to experience evil. Evil can be defined as profound immorality and wickedness. And how does this system work? Divine souls are born onto this earth with no memory of their divinity and little awareness of who they are and where they are. So they need to be taught their beliefs and morality by their parents, their teachers, their caretakers. They need to be taught how to live, how to behave, what to think and what to believe. And so throughout our childhood, we are all programmed. We adopt the behaviours and beliefs of the culture into which we are born. We adopt the prejudices of our society. We are taught to believe in the inferiority of other races, religions and nationalities. Whites are taught to hate blacks. Political parties hate each other. Males denigrate females. Heterosexuals hate homosexuals. And so it goes on. Separation and division are the order of the day. Love, communion and camaraderie are no more. And we are lonely. Oh, so lonely. And we feel so misunderstood and resentful. For in our low-frequency state, we believe that that which we have been taught to believe is right. We seek desperately for others to agree with us. We fight wars to prove ourselves right. We are programmed into hatred and seeking for control over others. For in our limited awareness, we must conquer our brethren to prove that our programmed ideas about the world are the only correct ideas. For us to feel in control, they must agree with us. And so, we are programmed into guilt and shame. For we can never achieve the absolute control that we feel that we need. We can never make ourselves good enough. Even with our intimate friends and family, we are taught to prod and poke at each other with negative and disparaging words. How difficult, how lonely is that? And so, we suffer. We look at the world around us in terms of good and bad, of black and white. We have little or no awareness of what has happened to us, 
of how we have been programmed by repetition, by our society, into their beliefs and behaviour. This is why it is so often said that the thoughts we think are not our own. And this is as it should be. Nothing wrong ever happened. This is how schoolroom planet Earth works. This system has been set up to expand our consciousness. And as our earthly consciousness increases, so does the consciousness of all that is. Great suffering leads to seeking. Seeking to understand. Seeking to escape from the tight grip of our programmed beliefs. And so we turn to our Creator. We ask for help. We say, there has to be a better way than this. We research. We learn that our beliefs create our reality. And as we were programmed by repetition of false ideas, so we slowly program ourselves by the same process, by constant repetition of affirmative words into understanding the truth of our human reality. It is all a great stage play, a hologram that we are participating in. As we expand our understanding of the truth of the planet Earth reality, we expand our awareness. We begin to see that Earth is a schoolroom. What we have seen to be good and bad is not so. They are preferred and not preferred events that we have chosen to experience in order to expand our consciousness. And so we reach the centre point of neutrality. We no longer define happenings as good or bad. We know they are lessons to learn, to choose correctly, to always choose love. If we learn one thing from the events through which we live, then that event has served its purpose. If we do not learn and change our behaviour and thinking accordingly, the same events happen over and over again, until we do learn. And so, dear ones, at what frequency is your consciousness? Are you still in the resentment? the programmed need for control over others and personal power? Are the same negative experiences happening to you over and over again? Are you still longing and searching for material wealth and personal property? Or are you coming into the awareness of the truth of this low-frequency realm? That Earth is a schoolroom where we experience the preferred and the not preferred in order that we might suffer and so in our desperation, seek a better, a more loving way to live. And so, in this time of the Great Awakening, we are each individually challenged to overcome our negative programming. It is time to see our dysfunctions, to understand where we are not loving. And as we see what needs to be changed in our thinking and behaviour, we can now, as the frequency of the earth rises, choose to change. We need to ask for help from the spirit realm, from our higher self, from the angels and guides beyond the veil of physicality. We need to make the decision to change what we see needs changing. It may not happen overnight, for as our negative behaviour took time to develop, so we're releasing that dark programmed thought system. Yet as we affirm continually that we choose love, that we are the light, we are the truth, we are the love, we will become so, for this is how this journey out of our programming works. Realise that you know who you are, a divine soul in manifestation, in a temporary physical body. Know what you are, a creator, as your God is a creator. Through your thoughts and beliefs you create your reality. Know how you serve by the amount of light and love you radiate into your world. Know that all your brethren, all those you resented, all those that hurt you, all those you hurt, are the same. They too are divine souls in human bodies experiencing the planet Earth schoolroom. Some are younger souls along this path still in kindergarten, still living their victim story. Others, more advanced, are seeking for the truth, seeking for love and to be loving. Love them all. 
you may not want to spend time with the younger souls, for as yet you cannot reach them. You are at different frequencies on this planet Earth journey, yet love them all as the precious divine souls that they are. And so, all is well on planet Earth today. We are returning to love from our planet Earth schoolroom experience. Our hero's journey is almost over, and we know now, in our hearts, that the best is yet to come. For we have expanded our awareness and lifted our consciousness back into the love frequency, where communion and camaraderie, joy, peace and wisdom reign supreme. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed. <laughs>